to another video on my channel. So today's video is doing nails on myself. So I'm going to be using Hazel from Glam and Glitz, Crystal Glass and Birthday Suit from CJP and Carol Glitter from Magpie Beauty. These are a full acrylic set and I'll be using my CJP number 10 size brush for the whole set. So I'm just going in with Hazel, which is the coloured acrylic powder. This is the first time I've used this colour acrylic and I've been exploring all their colours from Glam and Glitz. Really enjoying it, but I found this colour a little bit grainy to work with and very patchy. As you see here, I had a little bit of trouble bringing it quite smoothly, so I found that with this you need to work a lot wetter. Um, but still, this colour was, you can almost see in the pot on the top right corner, it's quite grainy. But yeah, if you want to see how I prepped my nails for this video, watch my previous tutorial I uploaded on YouTube. The link will be down below in the description box. Um, I've prepped, primed, dehydrated, pushed back cuticles, done all the cuticle work and prime the nails ready for acrylic application. I just infilled my clear base with a little bit of clear and then this is what I'm doing. I'm going straight in with my design. So I'm now going in with Magpie Beauty's Glitter and Carol. It's one of their new glitters from the Secret Santa collection. It's a beautiful red, gold and green glitter. It's absolutely stunning. And I thought it went quite well with this mustard colour. I didn't want the traditional Christmas nails, but I wanted something with an element and an essence of Christmas, so I thought this glitter would be perfect to pair with the mustard colour. You can see the set of nails that I'll be doing on my right hand there, a little sneak peek. But on this nail, as you'll see in my prep video, it had a little split on the left hand side of the clear base. So I decided to just get rid of it and sculpt a new one out. So I've got a clear base already on there. And I'm going in with that same um, Glam and Glitz Hazel Powder and I'm just putting that sheer wash over the whole nail, making it more concentrated and opaque at the cuticle area. Because I'll be going in with my Carol Glitter and fading it up the nail. Sorry I'm a little bit out of focus here. It was really difficult filming doing this on my own nails. I will work on it though. So yeah, I'm just fading that up, so I'm applying that glitter with a clear bead of acrylic and fading it up the nail until I'm happy with the fade. I constantly check to my other hand how much it fades it up the nail, making sure I'm still keeping that more of an almond shape. There you go, I'm just checking, making sure I'm happy. So I'm now going mid birthday suit from CJP and just applying this at the cuticle area and then just fading it down. I'm using a really small bit because the design is going to come up quite high. So I'm applying it quite wet and then just bringing it down, making sure it's nice and flush around the cuticle area. So I'm now going in with Hazel and I am placing it halfway down the nail bringing it down to the tip because I want it to be full opacity and then going in and making sure I've got the right amount comparing it to my other hand and then I will just turn my brush around and fade it up the nail so it's got a nice blend. You don't have to worry too much about that because the glitter will be going over that line anyway so you're not really going to see it. There you go, I'm just blending it up slightly so it's not too harsh. I've tried to leave some of this in real time because I find that it really helps me seeing how fast a tech works, but also sometimes when it's zoomed up quite fast you can't really see application very well. So I've left some bits in real time for you and then I've sped some bits up because it was an hour's worth of footage I had to cut down. <laughs> And nobody wants to be sitting around for an hour watching watching nails. <laughs> so I'm going in with Carol. Again, I picked it up with a clear bead of crystal glass acrylic from CJP. And I'm just applying it onto the nail, 
bringing it in that diagonal across that blend area just fading it up and down until I'm happy until it and until it matches my other hand so I'll just let you watch this and I'll be back in a second One thing I would say with glitters when you're applying them, some of them, especially if you're working with mixed glitters, so you've got different particle sizes in them, to make sure you're using your brush and patting the acrylic flat, you don't want those glitters to be sticking up so that when you come to capping clear and you're doing a finish filing, you file through and you catch some of those glitters that are sticking up because they go silver and it doesn't look the nicest. I mean, you can get away with it with some glitters, but it's just a little bit annoying so yeah just pat it flat with your brush so on this now I'll be doing a full nail of Carol glitter it just oh it looks so beautiful I love it such a beautiful glitter I'd wear this all year round to be honest not just at Christmas but yeah so I'm just working from the tip making sure I'm pushing those glitters into where the places that I want them making sure I'm getting from side wall to side wall and I think the key with doing a full glitter nail is to do it in sections. Don't get a massive bead and smear it all over because it could be lumpy, it will get patchy. Just work bit by bit, but work thinly as well. Make sure that your um, clear bead is really wet. And that way you can push and shove it where you want it. So up in the cuticle area, I'm just using the very tip of my brush just to push those glitter particles right up to that cuticle area and I'm just making sure I get right into those sidewall areas by pushing and tapping and again I'm going to go in with my brush and flatten those down just there just making sure they're laying nice and flat and flush I also sometimes go in without a clear bead after I've applied the glitter with the clear bead I then just wet my brush and pick up a bit more glitter and lay it down because sometimes if you go in with more clear acrylic it can just get a bit too bulky now on this baby now again I'm so sorry for being so out of focus and out of frame um, I'm literally just going in with a rough base of that mustardy hazel colour from Glam and Glitz I don't need it to be perfect because I'm going to be putting an opaque chrome powder over the top of this so I just need a bit of a wash so now I'm going in with my clear capping using crystal glass um, I on this thumb I'm using the three bead method so I'm going in the bottom third and bringing that bead down placing another bead in the middle of the nail to the top third blending that down the nail as well my nails are very long at the moment for me so I'm how I found that I had to use a lot more beads of acrylic than I normally would and I'm trying out the number 10 brush from CJP, which I'm really enjoying. But I really want to try the, um, is it the big boy brush from CJP? I think I've heard a lot about it. Um, give me your opinions down below if you guys have tried it. Because I think I want to try it. I think it'll be handy for when I'm doing my really long sets of nails to pick up bigger beads. But yeah, this size 10 brush is fine. You just have to do it in a few more beads rather than a two big beads. I'm going in with my new nail and I'm applying that clear at the edge of the nail and patting down making sure I'm encapsulating all that glitter to know that you've got all that glitter encapsulated it goes matte within the acrylic if you feel that you haven't encapsulated it you're not sure I would just say just apply a little bit more acrylic clear acrylic because when it comes to filing just file it away if you don't need it but if you come to filing and you haven't encapsulated all that glitter you're gonna have to go back and apply more clear and it just adds more time onto your service so I recommend just apply that little bit more it'll be quicker in the long run obviously you don't apply too much that your nails starting to get bulky and lumpy but just apply enough so I'm going in with my second bead applying that to the middle of the nail and fading down making sure I'm pulling that product up where I don't need it so far down the nail. Remembering your structure and where your apex is meant to be. So when I apply my last bead, that's when I focus on that. 
So going into the cuticle, making sure it's nice and flush, capping all that acrylic colour in and then bringing it down. So because this nail is a new sculpted one, I just applied my pinching form, my pinching tool on the form of the nail when it was ready. And then I finished capping the rest of the nails in clear. I didn't film it because I thought it'd be boring. You've seen me do three nails. So I'm now going into my filing routine. I'm just going in with this bit that is a tapered comb. All my bits are from Todak USA or Nail Supplies UK. I think that's what it's called. I'll leave all the links down below. So I'm going in with this. I go in with this um, around the cuticle area just to debulk a little bit to keep it nice and flush. And then I go in with my um, carbide bit, which is got a smooth safety head at the top. So if you can see, it's got that rounded bit. It really helps with um, causing no damage to your client's skin around the nail. It's just safer that way, I think. I prefer to use them. And I find you can get closer into that cuticle area in the side walls. So now I'm just going in, I'm just removing and debulking the nails. And then I go in with my little scrubber brush and get rid of all the dust so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going in with my filing routine, doing side walls and the free edge. Because this is an almond shape, I already kind of had the shape I wanted, but it was just refining that shape. So I do side wall, side wall, and then going around the free edge. And then I go in and do my cuticle work. So around that cuticle area, making sure it's nice and flush. And then I go down the body of the nail, making sure it's nice and refined, constantly checking all my angles, making sure I've got my apex in the correct place. I feel like us nail techs are always so rough on our own nails. And it was late at night when I was doing my nails. It was almost 10 o'clock and I wanted to go to bed. <laughs> all been there but yeah so going on to my next nail doing the same thing this is the one that I sculpted out so it's slightly more bulkier than I would have liked it to be than the rest so I'm going in doing my side walls and then creating that more pointed tip area going around my cuticle area making sure it's really nice and flush I am using a 150 grit file this is my own personal file and I've used it on a couple of my sets, so it's slightly worn in. Normally I'd use a 180 around the cuticle area on clients. So I'm doing the body of the nail, making sure I've got it really nice and even, checking it from all angles, making sure I've got that apex in the correct place, especially with nails of this length. It's really important to get that apex in the correct place because otherwise you'll just get breaking and snaps in that stress area. Checking with my other nail, making sure it's the correct shape. Finish filing the rest of the nails and then we're going on to design. So I'm going in with the festive collection plates. These are two of my favourite plates. I'm going in with my model's own polish it's not a stamping polish but it's really good for stamping it's the gold one going in with my clear jelly stamper it's the big bling really good for seeing through and getting the design exactly where you want it so i'm just applying this on to that nail where i've got it on the other hand pressing it down holding it for a couple of seconds when i'm doing more detailed stamping so with the finer lines if you're stamping you're finding some you're missing some of the bits or it's like coming off the nail hold it for a little longer with your stamper so that it can really stick to the nail i find that that really helps so now i'm just going in with a mixture of loads of different sized snowflakes and applying them really randomly to the nail i'm not worrying if they match my other hand i want them to be really mismatched and random loads of different sizes i love this this is the number two plate from um Moyu London in their festive collection. It's such a popular plate. I always am using this plate. It's so good. It has so many different snowflakes. It's great. Really recommend getting this plate for Christmas time. So again, on my thumb, just applying loads, checking with the other nail, seeing how many I've got on that hand. 
applying it to the nail. I love the clear jelly stamper, it's amazing. So now we're going in with Magpie Beauty Dust in Molly. It's one of their Too Faced holographic ones. And firstly, I am going to apply my CJP Top Gloss to all of the nails that have the stamping design and my baby nail which will be the one that has the chrome going onto it. So I'm just applying a thin layer to those nails. I'm leaving that middle finger plain because it's got no design work on it so it will only need one layer of top coat. This is my favourite bit when you apply the top coat and you can see the design appear. I absolutely love it, so satisfying. So now I've cured that for 30 seconds, so it's slightly tacky, and I'm going in with my chrome polish and just burnishing that, really rubbing that in with the eyeshadow applicator to that nail. And oh my goodness, this pigment is amazing. It is the most gorgeous thing ever. I think I do a close up in a minute because it's just so beautiful. Yeah, look at that. And with that mustard underneath, it looks so stunning. So I'm now going in with my second top coat remembering I've only cured the first coat for 30 seconds because this is a no wipe top coat you apply it in two layers the first layer you cure for 30 seconds second layer you cure for full cure of 60 seconds I'm just showing you here this is oh it's just my favorite bit when it reveals the design I love it I oh, just oh my favorite bit so I'm now going in with my first coat of this and it will be my only coat and then going in with my second coat on those stamping designs. And I decided on that chrome nail, I would go in with an extra layer of chrome. You don't need to, but I wanted it to come through more of a burgundy chrome rather than the mustard color. So I went in with another layer of that and I only cured for 30 seconds for that. Went in with my second layer of the Magpie dust. And as you can see, it just slightly deepened it up, gave it more of that berry burgundy tone. I love this now. I'd love a full set of just this. You can see that holographic shine. I absolutely love it. Yeah, top coat that again, cure of 60 seconds. Leave it to cool for a little bit before you apply your cuticle oil. And then you're done. I really hope you enjoyed this full acrylic design set. I thoroughly enjoyed these. These are my favorite Christmas set on myself so far. I think it's a bit alternative but I'm absolutely in love with it. Check out my previous video on how I prep my nails for this and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Like and subscribe for more tutorials. Check out my Instagram account, it's Isabel May Nails for more pictures of all my work and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye!